Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Meddling World. I am fired up, I'm pumped up, because tonight we are at the very first Boo Bash ever. This is the first one, guys. And you're gonna get it all from Meddling World. We're gonna bring it to you. Main Street looks awesome. Let me flip the camera around for you guys. Check it out. All the decorations are up. And of course, I love these right here, guys. Check these pumpkins. These Mickey pumpkins are so cool. Oh, yeah. So now, just a little information about Boo Bash. It's a separated ticket event. So you need to buy a separate ticket to go to the Boo Bash. Tonight's Boo Bash starts at 9.30 and it ends at 12.30. If you do buy the ticket, you can get in at 7 and enjoy the park from 7 all the way up. But just keep in mind, the party will not start until 9.30 officially. They don't have any special fireworks from what I've been reading and researching about the Boo Bash, but they are going to have Happily Ever After at 8.45 tonight. So keep that in mind if you want to see some fireworks before the Boo Bash starts. I suggest coming in early. We got here right at 7. Actually, a little bit before 7. They let us right in. Um, no questions asked. There was a little bit of a line. Took five minutes to get in. You come in, they give you a, a bracelet. Let me see if I can show you guys. So you get that bracelet, which allows you to stay in the park after it closes. Because the park does close at 9 p.m. tonight. So they got kind of like a half an hour between 9 and 9.30 where <laughs> I don't really know exactly how they get the people out of here that aren't ticket holders for the Boo Bash. So um, I know before they were pretty strict with just checking for the bracelets and kind of saying, hey, you guys got to go now. So we'll keep an eye on that. If there's any issues with that, I'll let you know. But we're here. We're happy. We're excited. I'm just going to take you for a little walk down Main Street so you guys can see what's going on here. So guys, now keep in mind, a lot of these people here, they're just here for the day still, you know. It's just 7 o'clock, there's another couple hours before the park closes, so there's plenty of people here as I'm walking without the bracelet on. You know, actually most people don't have the bracelet on yet. So, they're still hanging out, so not wicked busy as you can see. Busy, yes, but not totally out of control. But it looks nice with the decorations. I know if you watched the last vlog I came out with on Magic Kingdom, these decorations were up, but the Mickeys were not up. Where are they? And that was just two days ago when, that I was here. So the Mickey lamppost jack-o'-lanterns are up now. Previously, they were not up. And they look cool. There's a castle. I'm sure that's going to be lit up awesome tonight. Not a wicked amount of people here yet for the Boo Bash. Like I said, I, I don't notice a ton of bracelets yet. In fact, I haven't seen any. These are all regular guests that came in today so far for the majority. I'm going to take a walk over in Tomorrowland, and I want to see what's going on over there right now. Because I want to show you guys... I want to show you guys the After Hour Boo Bash 2021 kind of a little bit of the information right here you come in don't forget to grab one of these right as you enter the park it's got all the schedules of all the activities going on hey guys i'm over here by the carousel in fantasy land it's almost time for the fireworks so this is where i like to go and watch the fireworks um, because it's it's less crowded 
we were over on Main Street, but it's just so many people, and we got uh, my little grandson and some other smaller kids. It was my wife, Jake, you know, and I, just us three, we probably would have watched them down there, but with the strollers and things like that, this is a much better space. You can see there's not a lot of people here, and you can see the castle pretty good. Just look up. You might not get all the projections from the castle, from the front of the castle, but you'll be able to see the fireworks pretty good, so. Anyway, after this, the Boo Bash will officially begin right around 9.30, 8.45 scheduled for the fireworks. They're about, I think they're about 20 minutes or so long. And then we'll start getting into the party, guys. So we found our first tree area right here. We're going in, we're getting our uh, first treats right over here. This is uh, right over by the small world. That's the Pinocchio's, uh, I don't know what they call it. Right over here by the uh, Chapados. Uh, it's the Pinocchio themed um, quick service area. And it's just a line here. Let me show you, see if you can see the line. So the line should go pretty quick. We'll get inside. We're inside now, guys, and look, it's moving quick. They should give you a bag, I believe. This is the first time. Let's see if it's uh, how the uh, Not So Scary used to be, where you get there, they give you a bag, and you start collecting your candy. So we're gonna try a little dual screen. I got Jake, we got up in the front, we got Nina, we got Maddie, we got Lucy, and of course, Roberta. The big kid. And I think she's the one who really loves the Boo Bash the most. So here we go, guys. And yeah, you can see they got the bins of the candy. They're gonna fill you up till they are not chintzy with the candies here. I'll tell you that right now. Don't, don't be good. And now we're inside our first spot here, Pinocchio. This is the uh, the Chapados or something like that. It's the one that overlooks small world over by the carousel this is our first candy spot of the night everybody and the lines moving rather quickly as you can see you just walk in you walk through and they really give you the candies pretty quickly here you see the line moving quick over there let's see what they're giving out in this one looks like they got some nice bags and here we go the only bags. All right. Here's one, Nina, for you. Oh, look at that, guys. Trick or treat. We hit the jackpot, and they fill you up. Yeah, right there, they Jake. Right there, Nina. 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 Right there, N
Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. So we officially got our first candies tonight. Let's get out here and see what else is going on. I just want to give you an update with the wristbands. They do have cast members going around to make sure you are wearing your wristbands. So I was wondering about that earlier when I came in. Man, how are they going to control this crowd? So they are getting pretty strict with it at this point. It's just about 930 and they're really making sure that the wristbands are on. This is a separate ticket event. So they are starting to make sure that the day crowd is starting to file out. They're checking the wristband so that the paid guests can enjoy this great party. So far, I mean, let me see what time it is. Let's see, guys. It is, it's actually 9.27. It started a little early, getting everybody happy and excited. I think there's enough light for you to see behind me there. I'm gonna turn the camera around. This is the popcorn stand right here. So the popcorn is also included in the boo basher they got this set up pretty nice so you come down the line you grab your popcorn you come to the end you grab yourself a nice cold beverage your sprite your diet coke or coke or they also have bottled water this is nice man this is cool people are loving it the line is moving quick they're getting the people right down the line getting them what they want the popcorn's flying out they got it one person boxing it, the other person handing it out, and then you grab your drink and you're right out of the line. So that right there is production. Right over by the Hall of Presidents. Yeah, Liberty Tree Tavern. Check it out, Medlin World, we got our first Mickey bar tonight. Loving it. Mmm. The Mickey bar is included. Again, it's included with your ticket. I, I think I might have told you that a hundred times, so I just can't get over it. So we grabbed, for the kids, we all got Mickey bars. We got some popcorn. We got some more drinks. But we're waiting here. Mickey Cavalcade coming through. So we're sitting down right by the um, Diamond Horseshoe, right on the steps behind me. We're going to sit down. We're going to watch the Cavalcade come by and also enjoy I'm Mickey Boss. go now we watch that cavalcade there's a couple more coming but we're gonna go find another trick-or-treat spot and we're gonna do a little bit more trick-or-treating so guys we found another trick-or-treat spot as you can see trick or treat and it is in Adventureland the Tiki the enchanted Tiki room is a trick-or-treat spot here for Boobash we're going in we're going to get some candy I just want to let you know what we're doing here is we're at the Diamond Horseshoe. We, we came back to where we watched the first cavalcade. I can kind of see it coming now. It's the villains one now. So this, I'm just going to let you know, this is a pretty good spot. It's not like wicked busy here to watch this. It's busier down the other end towards where Splash Mountain is. So at 1030, we have the Disney villains, villains Halloween cavalcade coming through. Then right after that at 1040, it's Jack's nightmare cavalcade which is jack scullyton and then maleficent fiery prowl so i'm thinking that's the dragon and the dragon should be breathing some fire tonight so that that's going to be cool but this is my advice for this if you want to see these cavalcades come right up here to frontier land especially around 10 30 and you'll be able to see three of them right in a row 10 30 10 40 and 10 50 and then after that we did, you know, we're, we're gonna head out and start checking out some of the other trick-or-treat spots. We're hoping to get over to the dance party over there, the DJ dance party over in Tomorrowland. We're gonna try to get to everything. It's, you know, the time is gonna be, you know, let's see how it works out. Thank <laughs> you. 
check this out. Allergy friendly Santa. Courtesy of Disney. After hours bull bash. So if you have any kind of allergy, go inside here. It's right near the Hall of Presidents, basically. It's, if you were looking at the Hall of Presidents on the right side, there used to be like a pass holder area in here where you could get information about your pass or the magnets, things like that. Go in there, check it out. It'll help you out if you have an allergy. So allergy friendly, also trick or treating here at the Boo Bash. I think we covered all the cavalcades at this point. We've seen them all. So that's out of the way, but it's almost 11 o'clock already. So we're halfway through the Boo Bash. Started at 9.30, ends at 12.30. We're halfway through. I'm just walking, I'm still over here stuck in Frontierland, but look what we got up here. Not these to dance. Not too bad. I'm gonna keep moving though because I want some candy. So we got another trick or treat spot. It is. Watch his ink. Lap floor. Let's go in here and see what kind of treats they got, guys. Let's go check it out. I'll give you a walkthrough. Hi, hi. Happy Halloween. Everybody very festive here. Cast members have been great. So there should be some good lighting in here. So we're just walking through the regular queue so far. Ah, oh, it's nice and cool in here too. And let's go see what we got going on. I'll show you some of this stuff as we walk through. So, I can't remember, I think, Not So Scary Halloween, this was also an area we had trick or treat, or it might have been across the way at the Stitch Great Escape, possibly. Somebody let me know in the comments. But anyway, here we go. So we got a couple cast members right there. Look, there's no lines, guys, you can just walk in. It's so cool, you just walk in, you grab, and this, this nice lady here looks so happy to help us with our Halloween treats. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Look at how friendly that is. And now we're heading right through the theater part. Look at that. Right down the line. So, oh, it, like it looks like this is a double, coming through. a double trick-or-treater. We got another stand end. on the way out. So, oh, this is are, great. Is, is, are you in a hurry? You got to hear from Medlin World. You're not in a hurry anymore? No, I'm not, I'm not in a hurry. I'm just so what is your name? So what? What is your name? And we got a double trick or treat okay. line here. Yeah. Yeah, we love this. Okay. Halloween. Thank you very much. And there you have it. The laugh floor. You got two spots to get your treats. And you know what? I might go back around one more time, but look at this, guys. I'm telling you. They give you the good stuff here. Mickey's Boo Bash. I can't believe there's less than an hour left. We got to at least get over here to the dance party before we go. And we got to check that out. Let's get the mask off. We're outside now. We can take the masks off. Get some fresh air on a hot, humid night at Disney World. Okay, guys. So here's the dance party. No characters, not really much of a Disney theme to it. I, I shouldn't say Disney theme, not much of a Halloween theme, but it is what it is. So let's have a look here. I mean, you look 
looking at it, guys. This is all they have. Happy Halloween, Walt Disney World. They got a jersey. They got the ears. Limit two, but they got t-shirts. $25 for the t-shirt. Focus, focus. I'm not seeing a whole heck of a lot of anything else. I don't see anything that says like Disney Boobash. Nothing like that. Some stuff for your Crocs. Do you know do you know how much the ears are? Uh, the ears should be $29.99. Thank you. Yes, sir. So the ears are $29.99. That's a limit of two per item per guest. Alright guys, I just wanna wrap up. I'm gonna give you some pros and cons, I think, about the boobash. The first thing is, I'll give you some of the things I really liked about it. What I loved about it was the beverages, right? Bottles of cold water, sodas, Sprites, Cokes, Diet Cokes, novelty ice creams, the Mickey bars, the fruit bars, the ice cream sandwiches, the popcorn, all included in your price. I thought it was really nice. The trick-or-treating was awesome. It was quick. You could just walk through as many times as you wanted at any of the trick-or-treat locations. Also, the allergy-friendly trick-or-treat location over by the Hall of Presidents. Awesome. If you wanted to go on a ride, you could have walked on any ride pretty much throughout the night. It was nice that we were able to come at 7 and enjoy some fireworks before the party started they weren't specifically for the boobash they were the regular fireworks um happily ever after but we were able to watch those and then get right into the party um the cavalcades were awesome they were cool they kind of had them pretty staggered quickly so you could kind of watch them and get them out of the way and then start to try to enjoy some other things some of the negatives though it's only three hours so you really got to plan your day you got to plan your night of what you really want to do um i think we got a lot in um i don't want to say i felt rushed to try to get everything in but if i tried to stand in line and get a picture i would have wasted too much time i would have missed something uh if i wanted to try to go around and see all the the characters that are you know socially distanced if you will i would have wasted a lot of time so those things were disappointing um and one other thing at 12 30 this pretty much is done the magic kingdom at 12 30 started closing everything and they usually don't do that usually the stores you know some of the concession areas will remain open for about an hour after the park so that was a bit disappointing because we were hoping to come down Main Street and maybe go into the store to see the other merchandise there because it was in the two, it was over uh, in the two areas. I showed you the first area over there in Tomorrowland with, you know, the merchandise not so great. It's another, you know, a con to me. No official boobash merchandise, not very good. The Emporium shut right down. We walked down Main Street, it was about, I want to say, 9.40. It was already all shut down, closed. You couldn't get in there. Another problem was the photographers. There's usually plenty of photographers on Main Street, which they were, but they had cast members stopping a line immediately at 12.30. Again, we couldn't get a picture on the way out. Those were things were very disappointed because we tried to say, hey, let's enjoy the trick-or-treating. Let's enjoy some of the nice ice creams and the cavalcades during this three hours because we got to kind of move around and see all the stuff. And we'll do our pictures at the end. And we weren't able to do that. So those are some of the cons. Overall, though, I think the party was really fun. We had a good time. But please, if you plan on coming, make sure you really take a good look and plan out your night because you're probably not going to be able to do everything you want in the three hour time limit. It's just not enough time for it all. But overall, it was it was fun. We had a good time. The kids enjoyed it. So we're gonna be on to our next adventure soon. We're gonna be bringing in many more vlogs. Please like and subscribe to Meddling World. And last but not least, see ya!